Hi everybody, welcome back to uh, the next video in our series uh, tutorial uh, on using CorelDRAW. Uh, in our last video we were working with text uh, and, and Corel comes with a, a genuinely fantastic uh, font uh, management tool. Uh, this, this, is, this is a great tool for, for working with fonts. Uh, Corel ships with something like 1100 fonts. Uh, it's, it's just uh, there's a whole lot of fonts that come with Corel. Uh, Believe me, if you ever have to sort through all of them, <laughs> you will genuinely begin to appreciate the value of uh, the, the the management tool that Corel comes with for dealing with fonts, for working with fonts. Uh, the name of this tool is called Bitstream. Uh, we'll go ahead and start it up here. Uh, Stream Font Navigator. And here we go. Uh, and I have I have taken all the fonts out of uh, the directories they came in when I got Corel uh, and uh, kind of organized them into folders, make them a little bit easier to to cope with. There's a lot of fonts in, uh, in Corel. Uh, and see if I can find uh, what I'm looking for. See, each folder has the fonts for that folder. And here is our sample text down here. Uh, and uh, on sample size. You can give us whatever size we want to look at it. Uh, one of the great things about this tool is, uh, this, is that it allows you to see the text that you're actually working with. Uh, and, you know, depending on what the text is, certain certain uh, letters may or may not be uh, uppercase or lowercase, uh, and you. You can choose the specific words that you want to. Um, change sample text so we pick the size and the sample text the actual sample text okay uh, Uh, a 
of fonts that come with Corel that Corel doesn't actually recognize as a font. As we uh, work through our different fonts here, uh, using our arrow key, we just work down through the fonts. Uh, the font folder in Windows, you really should never have more than about 200 fonts in that folder. Uh, we'll start to drag the system down. You really don't want to run more than about 200 fonts in the folder. Um, this, with this tool, you can browse fonts, look at them, see what you like, what you don't. This, this, this installed fonts. These are fonts that I can install on your system. Other uh, this other window over here actually is fonts in whatever catalog you're looking through. find the font that you want to use, that you want to have available to you. And once you install it here, uh, I saw Prince Albus. Uh, install the font. It will install it on your system. And once it's installed here, it's, it's available in, uh, in Windows. So anything running in Windows that uses fonts, uh, it will become available there. Good. Gives you, this is all your fonts are. and you can, as you can see here, there are a lot of fonts. Uh, 
trail comes with and a lot of options. Uh, it's a pretty fun. And these are a fantastic tool for working with phones. Uh, as you can see from there, awful lot to pick from the, the, uh, the fonts that are available to you are just <laughs> I have I have sat here for a couple of hours scrolling through using the arrow key going through fonts looking for fonts too. Uh, and it just believe me. I mean, that many fonts to go through, it 